Hello and welcome to Cat's Love and today I am talking about cat depression. It's a topic I don't really like talking about but it needs to be said. Plus when a cat is depressed it usually means that their owner isn't treating them right or they're doing something wrong. So here's some tips on cat depression and here's some symptoms that will show if your cat does get depressed and here's what to do if your cat gets depressed. So sometimes cats can get depressed if their humans leave for a long period of time. And they can also get depressed if you don't play with them, give them attention. And if you've adopted a cat and it's depressed, it may not even be you that's making it depressed. Before you adopted your cat, the past owners might have abandoned, neglected, or not fed the cat, which could also lead to encourage depression in the cat. Plus, maybe the cat don't even like your home and wants to go back where it was adopted because in the shelter or in the foster care, they get food and water and they just get a bunch of attention and stuff, so they might just like it at the foster care or at the shelter. So, before you adopt a cat, please make sure you're going to be responsible and make sure it has a comfortable home because cats aren't just a fluffy sack of meat. You gotta be responsible. And if you think that your cat has depression, then here's some signs that your cat might be depressed. Vocalization changes are massive clues. Your cat may meow more or less than usual, which are also very audible indications. These unhappy noises can be a mournful yowl. Purring also doesn't always indicate happiness in your kitty. They might purr more just to comfort themselves. Other cats that are normally vocal might be less vocal, and cats that are less vocal might start meowing a lot more than usual. So they can also give off signs with their body movements. There are many eye, ear, fur, and body signs, such as the ears being folded back, the hair on the back of your cat's back standing up, and all of the other body signs can also be silent communication that your cat is sad. Aggression or fear can also be a lead symptom for cat depression. Sad cats tend to be more reactive with aggressive or fearfulness. If you notice behavior changes in your cat being scared or abnormally aggressive, then they may be sad. Cats may not groom themselves as well as usual and they will sleep a lot more than usual. Also, your cat may just stop eating and change its entire diet. They can start urinating on places that are inappropriate and not in the litter box to just make themselves feel better. And they're going to scratch on way more things than usual, so sharpening their claws can make them feel comfortable. So here's some reasons your cat can actually get depressed. Injury, illness, loss of a loved one, and the reason I gave at the beginning of this episode, owners abusing or abandoning them. So now here's how to fix cat depression. You're going to need to have a routine. So time for cuddles, time for eating, and for playtime. You also might really want to check up with your vet if your cat has depression. So normal checkups can also help too. So that is what cat depression is what the symptoms are and how to fix it. I talked about cat depression way back in the Abyssinian episode and I actually said in that episode that I will be talking about cat depression soon. Abyssinians are common to it so this right here is how to cure it. And now I want to give a special thanks to Spruce Pets. They are a website about animals, and their document about cat depression is the whole reason the uh, symptoms segment is in this video. So, their document about cat depression helped a lot with that segment. So, stay tuned for my next video where I talk about cat myths that are absolutely false. I'll be debunking a lot of cat myths next episode. This has been Cat's Love. See you next episode.